Is that Ben? Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, finally home. <clears throat> Where did you find him? Well, I had a hunch that Obrecht was hiding out on my family's island in Greece. In Greece? So, Why would she take him there? Well, she used to work with Faison, right, who has ties to Helena, and now that Helena is dead and I've been living here in Port Charles, I don't know, I guess she just assumed that home was empty. And... So what about Obrecht? Where's she now? I'm famished. Whip me up some of your famous Alpamacoma. How about that? Whip it up yourself. See if you touch your tongue to anything of mine again. See you haven't lost your charm. Why so hostile? We were good friends once. You and I? Yeah. We were never friends. I was your favorite writer. I was a child. I thought you were P.K. Sinclair and you wrote a book called Grandmother's Fang and Horse Lords of Rainbow Ridge. Surely you read all my books to your little sweet daughter, Emma. Don't even say her name. I can't wait to read them to little Cesar. You'll be in prison before he can even sit up, <laughs> if you survive. Yeah, and who will kill me? Anna loves me. Scorpio is nothing. A petty little bureaucrat. Now I'll outlast them all. My parents are more than a match for you. Then why are they Jerry's prisoners while I'm free? It's true, my parents can't come now. But there's someone else. Someone in Port Charles. And once he figures this out, you're a dead man. Who's that paragon? An old friend of mine, actually. And uh, he does a lot of work on the waterfront. So he, he looks at this island almost every day, and he's smarter than most people. He picks up on things that other people don't. Yeah, is that a warning so I can take my precautions? You won't even see him coming anyway, so it doesn't matter. And when he sees you, he's going to put a bullet in your head. What about your parents? He's come up against Jerry before, so if my parents can't free themselves, he will help. But first, he's going to take you out. You seem very confident. Because he's very good at what he does. You know, it used to make me really sad because I thought he could have done something else with his life instead of becoming a killer. But now I have to say I'm so grateful. After all of this hell that you've put me through and torturing my mother for years and years, finally, Jason is going to be the one to kill you. I doubt it. You don't know Jason Morgan. I know him well enough. I killed him after all. Faison? Yeah, she wants to see him at Steinmar at the Supermax near Zurich to question him. This is starting to make sense. While I was there, Anna had to leave without an explanation. Robert said she was working on a case and wasn't at liberty to discuss the details. And when she came back, I could tell something was off. But Anna said, no, everything is fine, so I just let it go. Well, it wasn't fine. Wow, something must have happened at that prison for Anna to take Robert out of the clinic without a word to anyone. Well, I have to find them. And knowing why she went to see Faison is the key. Offense, but I hope your mother rocks in the cell. Unfortunately, she got away. You got away. Does Anna know that? Uh, yes, she's with Robert. They, they're aware of the situation. Um, I want to get some blood work done on Ben just to make sure he doesn't have any ill effects from his kidnapping. Of course, yeah. I'll take care of it right now. Follow me. Thanks. Look, I don't, I don't like lying to Patrick any more than you do, but we can't tell him the truth. It'll lead him right to Robin. Let's go. You're lying. Jason isn't dead. You didn't... You didn't kill him. Jason died on Pier 52. I shot him in the back, kicked him in the water. He's the one who never saw me coming. No. Jason would not let you get the jump on him. Well, if you don't believe me, Google it. Poor Jason. 
Never got to see his son. I ought to pay that boy a visit. He could need a father figure. And little Cesar could need a playmate. Oh, doing such a good job, babe. Just one more minute, Kate. Does Brad know the baby's safe? My your business. I can see motherhood hasn't changed you. Shame. What is that? Oh, it's her engagement ring. Sabrina and Patrick are getting married. No, he, he can't marry her. Why not? Sorry, that, that was... Uh... Completely out of line. Maybe you should mind your own business. Britt's entitled to her opinion, although I thought we were in a better place after I delivered Ben. Britt, you don't have to be happy for us, but I'd like to think that we can coexist. We, uh, we need to get Ben home. He's been through a lot. We should... Yeah, you're, you're right. Um, just forget what I said. Jason's not dead. They never found his body. Well, it's been a year. By now, his corpse has disintegrated. He can't be dead. What, just because you need him? I'm sorry, Robin. Sank like a stone. He won't be the one who comes to your rescue. No one will. All right, thanks, Frisco. Not good news. Obrick broke Faison of Steinmauer. They're still at large. Are there any leads? Faison could be anywhere. All your talk of lethal Morgan. In the end, he was an easy kill. You just admitted that you shot him in the back. Well, he was a professional. He should have been a little more careful. You're so smug, so pleased with yourself. No, I'm not. You murder people and you torture them and you act like it's a joke. I do not. You said it yourself. Jason was a killer. How does that make him better than me? Because Jason was my friend. But he's dead. And because he made me believe that I had a future when I didn't. And I thought that he would always be there for me when I needed him. But he's dead, Robin. You son of a bitch! So spirit. So willful. So like your mother. I promise not to shove my wedding plans in your face. Okay, well, let's just hope there's an actual wedding to plan. What's that supposed to mean? You saw Britt's reaction to your engagement? I know, you said she was too busy focusing on Ben to make that call, but for whatever reason, she seemed invested on you not marrying Patrick. Let go. Oh, you know what? Nicholas will banish me? It's me you have to worry about, not Nicholas. We shall see. Oh, how's this uh? Ben is fine. Mm. You big little boy. I like my mystery at seven. You all right? No, what? not all right. Fizan just told me that he killed Jason, and I just looked it up online and. I'm what? Sorry. I'm Why sorry. didn't you tell me? Robin, I'm sorry. I, I just, I didn't think to tell you right away. So it's true then? Jason is dead. Jason Morgan? He was a friend of yours? Yeah. Oh, uh, way more than a friend. <laughs> he was the boy with no past and I was the girl with no future and he changed all that. He helped me to go on with my life. I mean, he made it possible for me to fall in love with Patrick. About Patrick. No, Brent, now's not the time. It's too long. It could be too late for oh. Robin. Too late for what? What? What are you talking about? Patrick proposed to Sabrina. Your husband's engaged to be married. <laughs> 